Ah, yes, we're back. Last time we unintentionally took on and defeated Morty at a critique city, and I forgot to do something in the city, so I'm gonna run back and do it now. Um. Loop. I think it's this one. One of these houses has an item that we can get, which is cool. One is young, sky turned black, giant flying type, flock of the sun, a bird or a dragon. Pokemon that blocks out the sun. I, th I think I know what it was, but I'm not sure. Entry to Pokemon, he's a treasure hunting. Yep, here it is. Yes. The dowsing machine. We can find hidden, hidden items now. It's like the uh, item finder. When it does, you'll know there's an item nearby. Walking as you... Make it easy to find items. Burn tower, which we can, we can go into, sort of, but, like... Until we get, like, strength and rock break, I'm not going to be really, like, actively using it. Um, we'll come back to the burn tower eventually. I just want to see what's here. There's a cave. Ooh, Shadow Claw. I think Ghastly and those guys can learn that. No, I don't want to headbutt. I didn't mean to hit that. What the? Sorry about that, bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Take this. Strength or rock break? Strength. Pokemon learns it, it can move boulders out of your way. Enjoy ha happy mountain climbing life. Um, I just want to make sure. I think. Soul, silver. Uh, like before we enter Mount Mortar. Okay. Which badge do we need? I forget. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we can do Rock Smash outside of... Yeah, okay, so with Gym 1 we can use Rock Smash, Gym 2 we can use Cut, Gym 3, we can use... Str oh, we can use... Str oh, hell yeah. In Gym 4, we can use Surf. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Um, do we even have Rock Smash yet? I don't think we do. No, we only have... Okay, wait, how the, wait, where the hell do we get to Rock Smash, then? Rock Smash... I legit feel like I'm forget. Did I miss something? Oops. Hold on. Maybe we can oh, let's talk to the first guy. Wait, seriously? I, I feel I feel dumb because I feel like I like talk to this person, but I don't think I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. Not that one. This one. The very. Do, 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 do. Hi, Stantler. No Waldorf. Wow, that was a reference I didn't think I was gonna make today. I just made a fucking Muppets reference. I didn't even watch the Muppets. gonna piss off some corner of the internet. You don't like the Muppets? No, it's not for me. Teach their own. Just, the Muppets were never my bag. Come on. There we go. Okay, Route 36.
Yo! I had trouble with the boulder blocking your way, of course you have. For people like you, there's an HM that come to your rescue. Okay. HM06. There's Rock Smash. Can you smash boulders once you've earned the Violet City Gym Badge? I could have had this the entire time. Uh, kind of annoyed, but whatever. Kind of annoyed. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, who can learn it, though? It's a fighting type, so maybe Hadakos? I don't know. I don't want to make Hadakos. I don't want. Oh, I could just do it to Deku. Then again, I could give it to Flaffy. You know, Cape Poor is getting fly. Um, Cut is already on Cassandra. Uh, Deku's gonna get strength. Speaking of, I should probably do that now, actually, before I forget. It's funny, last week I was like, oh yeah, we'll go do these things, but I have Strength and Rock, um, Rock Smash. I have both now. Uh, let's see, Flail. It becomes more powerful the less HP it has, though. Honestly, I'd rather have Strength, because if I remember right, yeah, it's, it's, um, Flail's about. No, it's not that great. See, but I can get rid of Mimic and teach. Oh, fuck. Um, it's a TM, so if I don't want it later, I can get rid of it. So I'll teach it to Flaffy. Get rid of Growl. Two ghost attacks for. I may actually have to keep Ghastly because these are two good attacks. Um, Surf, we don't have a water Pokemon yet. Box March. Hmm. Really quick, I want to see something. Because Mimic isn't bad. Like, Mimic is a good attack. In that, like, the last move they use, you get, but it's only for like five power points. What's the stats? 40 and 100? Um. Yeah. I don't hate Mimic, I just, I don't foresee it being, like, a useful attack long-term when I don't even know what I'll be fighting using it. You know what I mean? Where am I again? Right, right, right. right. Where was I? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Say Levy. Ooh, a Pidgey. Like I said, I, I want to get rid of Ghastly because I have those two attacks, but I'm also like, there's a, there's a Pokemon I want to swap it with. Like, we don't need... I can swap Ghastly out because of the fact that Ghastly... You know, it's just... I'd be sw swapping it for a water type that can do, um... What's it called? I can do Surf. Like, that's the main thing. I want to put a rappel down just so I can see what's downstairs and not to be disturbed. 
I don't even know if this is actually going to prevent anything. I would like to use strength, yes. Deku, make it move. Where's the dowsing thing? Oh no, shit, the repel wore off. Damn it! It's a rat attack. That's the only repel, too. Like, that sucks. Okay, really quick. Um. Damn it! I was enjoying the repel. Nightshade. Just get rid of you. Take get rid of you. Not get rid of some of you. Machine use Okay, taunting isn't bad. Anything up here? I don't think so. No. Damn it. It's funny, this... I think this episode is going up a week after. Yeah, last week I, I, I recorded the day after getting, getting a temporary crown in. This episode should be going up the week after I got the temporary replacement of things, so it should be interesting in terms of like... Huh. Two weeks. What a difference. Gotta love dentistry. Ah, uh, well, that's done. Oh, I got to fucking do some more Naruto shipping and rewatching last night, because uh, I guess they added a bunch of new episodes in dubbed onto Hulu. It bothers me that they're slowly releasing the dubbed onto Hulu the way they are, because, like... They have all the episodes. We know they do. Just like, just fucking release them. I will bitch and complain about streaming services all the time. Specifically when it comes to anime, like, oh, we have all the sub, but only partial the dub, and you know, we gotta release it over time. It's it, it's stupid. Also, like, this is just me. I think it'd be a good idea. I'm not saying it ever will happen. If you have a streaming service and you have shows like, for example, any anime, have an option for when you do watch-throughs that you can take out the filler or leave them in. There are an entire website that dedicate to, like, listing out what episodes are filler and which ones are canon. Look, give me a playlist option where it's like, oh, remove filler episodes. You know how much, I, you know how much anime I would suddenly watch? Again. Or just for the first time. 
Hell, if it's something we'll do like Disney, because you know, Star Wars. Give me chronological order for shows like Clone Wars, which where it's like episodic, and it wasn't released in chrono order. Allow me playlists that are like I can organize things in certain ways. Or we'll take something like Star Wars. Uh, the Simpsons. Give me a Treehouse of Horror only playlist. Because what if I just want to watch the Halloween episodes of fucking Simpsons? Give me that option. Instead of having to make me manually go through, like, all of the goddamn show to find things. PowerPoint up. What's Taunt do? Foe is taunted into rage that lets it only to Ah! Okay, well, I'm gonna sell that, so I don't care. Alright, so we got strength and, um... Wait, no. Maybe? Hmm. I want to see something. I know I said I was going to do something, but I'm going to do something else instead. Hold on. I forget. Mount Mortar. I should go in and buy some repels. Oh well. Zubat, Zubat. Zubat fucking sucks as he is. Uh, when did I lose one HP? Oh, right, the coughing. More here, like, when did Gastly take damage? I remember. I remember. It could be 30 years from now, I will remember that one scene from Family Guy. Poltergeist episode where Stewie's like, I remember. Why is that the one I like cling to? I don't know. Ooh, a mod shop. Fun fact, I've actually never used a mod shop or a joke in all my years of playing Pokemon. I've caught them, but I've just never used one in my team. I think it's because I could never I never trade with anyone. So I just like never saw a point in getting one. But the same like the same logic if I rarely used Ghastly Haunters, Abracadabras, and Geodude Gravelers, because I didn't like that I couldn't get, evolve them to their final forms without trading. It wasn't until I became older that I realized, you know, Kadabra and Haunter aren't bad are, are not bad. Graveler and Machoke really weren't that great though. Of the four OG like trade to evolves, two of them were gr good, the other two were eh. What do we got? A rat attack. We're gonna run away. I'm thinking. Maybe. Ah. Uh, hmm. Part of me says I could also just trade out Flaffy, keep Ghastly, but I'm like, I don't know. Looking at it from a strategic stand- whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that yet. Um, from a strategic standpoint, I don't see any- okay. Um, I don't see any, uh... I mean, there are some benefits, actually, I guess, like... Having both, um... A, wa a ghost and one who can do hypnosis isn't a bad idea. I just feel like I'm. I just feel like I'm being redundant. I guess. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've never had like a, a multi-repetitive strategy poke in Pokemon. I've always made sure like each Pokemon had their own purpose. I think Flappy may be the. Having an electric Pokemon is good, but in the long run, I'm thinking the next the next one's fighting type, then steel type, then ice type, then dragon type. So actually, no, the, the electric might actually be the least uh, beneficial. Because fighting isn't weak to lightning. And steel, I think, is resistant to it. Um, ice types aren't weak to it or strong to it. It's kind of like a neutral. 
situation. Um, and I know dragons have no hit or miss, so. It might be good to swap out Flappy first, I guess. We'll see. When I get to the water Pokemon, I will. Because there is one water Pokemon I do want. And if you play the Gen 2 games, you know exactly what I'm thinking about. I also... Ooh, shit. If I can get an Umbreon, though, like... If I can get him, I want to get rid of him. I get rid of Cassandra. Because I don't need cut. I don't think I need cut that much. Umbreon's like my fave. I love Umbreon. It'd be cool if I get a shiny Umbreon, but that ain't fucking happening. Like, that's just not happening. We know this. So close. I'm so very close. God, fuck. I feel like I'm in, like, rock tunnel or something. Why am I getting attacked so much? I didn't fill my cup before I started recording. I'll do that after I finish this episode, though. It's funny, as of right now, I have two days of the week fully queued up for the end of the year. KOTOR 2 and, um... Okay. No, Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday are both recorded and queued up for the whole end of the year. I want to get um, all seven days queued up, just so I can be like, oh look, 2024 is done. I can take a break at some point, maybe like give myself like a month off in November. Like I would, actually no, that'd be a good idea. Give myself like, give myself November off and just work on, ooh, that's an idea. I might, if I can, if I can get everything recorded till like to queue up till de December thirty first, I may take up November recording wise. Excuse me, and uh, work on writing stuff. Like writing, writing and tabletop stuff would be perfect to work on then, because I'd have the whole month just be like I can work all day, and nothing would be like oh, I have to go record. I don't do Nano Rhino because you know. Found out they kind of suck, but I can do um, like just a month of writing again. Last time, last time I did like the Nano Rhino challenge, I was able to write three book, three full-length manuscripts in two months. So I think I could totally do better now. Please, you've made me flinch. I keep forgetting that Astonish can cause flinching. Ah, oh, no, I can, if I actually dedicate just a month with all the planning I've done for the project I want to write, I should be able to get a lot of done. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Let's, let's shoot for that. We'll see if that actually pans out. Because at the moment, I need... No, no, no. Hold on. I would need to record... Eight... Nine. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. Nine and fourteen is twenty-three. Twenty-three. Thirty. Thirty-four hours worth of stuff I think I can record 34 hours worth of stuff before October. Well, before, no, before the end of October, I mean. My bad. Is 
Because like I generally average how much recording in a month? Yeah, my average is like anywhere between twenty no, twenty-five to forty-five hours a month of recording. So yeah, I should have no problem. If I can do if I can do 45 hours a month of recording average. Well, we'll say 35, because that's in between 20 and 45. Yeah, I should be able to get that done in like before middle of October. Hell yeah. And that's on the assumption I do three to four hours of recording a day. Sometimes I do more. Like there have been times I've been recording like four or five hours instead of three to four. So like it, it, it could work out in my favor. We reach Mahogany Town. To the Gyarados Rampage at the lake. I need a repeal. Okay. Pokemon's healed. Yeah, no, because what I'm thinking. Hear me out. Say I get all my recording done before the end of October, I take the month off. I can spend souvenir shot, nothing suspicious. The experiment worked like a charm, magic carpet were just worthless, but get us a big money makers. Huh? You hear wind blowing into this room? That's just me whistling. Okay, what do you got? Tiny shroom, pokeballs, potions. Could use some potions, I don't have any of those. Let's go, tw let's go with 20. No, I'm good. Alright, so... I was gonna head west, but I think if I'm if I'm actually able to do this now, I'm gonna do it now. Um, put you first because you're lower level. So now yeah, no. Okay, so my thought: I get all the recording done before the end of October, so I can take November off from recording. Save D and D because that's different. Um. All of November, I spend, ideally, six to seven days a week. No, five to six days a week writing. Ten to twelve hour days. I can get a lot done. Like, I really would be able to get a lot done. So Flaffy can't fight Santru, so... Let's go with Deku. Oh, no, if that's what we do... I could actually probably finish an entire manuscript by the end of the year. Because the all of November would be like the big bulky parts. Allowing me to spend like the end of December to be like fin wrapping up and all that. I knew you guys were miss because of that sand attack. Um, and then I could spend the beginning of the year like not editing, but like refining what I did in the, during November, December. So come February, March, it could be like, hey, I need some of my friends to check for like proof proofread editing all that and go from there I gotta find a way to compile this plot into five books let it be known I am not an author who can make one story fit in one book I have to do multiple books I'm guilty of that my one of my editors has already asked like what why is it to be three books? I'm like, because I don't know how to com compile it into one. It, it would be way too long and no one would read it. I get it. Some people are like, oh, I'm sick to death of book series, TV series, movie series. Why can't everything be open and shut? Some stories just can't be unless you want to be like this thick of a book. It's called depth of plot, character development, and all that shit. If that happens, though, they have to actually go through the process of applying to fucking uh, agents again. I hated agents. 
No, I don't hate agents. I shouldn't say that. I hate, I hate the application process for finding an agent. Last time I did it, I think I spent like five, six months applying and all of them being rejected. No, half of them got rejected. Half of them I just didn't get a response to. Which, I will admit, I learned. I do prefer the rejection to the non-answer. I don't know how other authors feel, but I'd rather be rejected than be just ignored. But most of you that watch me play these games are like, wait, why are we getting, like, author bullshit? Who cares a shit? Play video game. Also, convincing, like, Western agents to, like, accept a story that's heavily influenced by shonen anime, uh, video games, and D&D is so goddamn hard. My, the agent I already, I mean, the agent, the editor I already have is, like, constantly being like, hey, when does the nerd shit go away? And I'm like, never. It never goes away. It's constant. I am influenced by the 2000s video games, JRPGs, shonen anime, and, like, shit like that. Get over it. It be like that. Come on, Knuckles. Hell yeah. We don't use you as much as the others, so I gotta, like, take my chances when I can. Trainer tips, all Pokemon have pros and cons depending on their type. If the types differ even higher level, they lose in battle. Growing up, I hated that because I didn't understand it. So I was like, higher level is better than it does. Oh, there, kiddo. Toll is 1,000 to get through. Thank you very much. I wish I had the option just to fight them. Like, some of that money just came from the guy, the, the, the pocket of the guy I just beat the crap out of. Can you give me, like, a grand? Oh god, are you a nerd? Are you, like, one of those super nerds? Yep, you are a Pokemaniac. How would I know? Hi, Beckett. Salubro! Remember, kids, canonically speaking, as of now, I think, unless that's changed, only one member of the Slowpoke tree has spoken English, and it's Slow... Slow Kick. And his most famous line was, I wish I wore pants. You don't know that it's from? Go watch the Pokemon 2000 movie. That's such a good one. It has been so long since I've watched the Pokemon movies. I really wonder how they hold up. Probably not good. I mean, they, they actually, they may, they might. I shouldn't say that. They actually may hold up really well. Hmm. I don't know. Oops. Did I miss your call, Walt? Yes, I did. My Pokedex was uh, more important. Uh, what do you want? Who, would you get this? Some redhead kid made fun of my precious po- some redhead kid. What do you got for a Pokemon? Okay, I want to make fun of Redhead. Okay, Nidoking King's not something to make fun of. I would never make fun of a Nidoking. King. Would I use a Nidoking? King? I've done it before. I purposely caught both in, both Nidorans and got a Nido King and Queen. I thought it was gonna be some like cool like dynamic. It didn't turn out to be as cool as I thought, and I was kind of disappointed. Like I, I actually was kind of like disappointed the fact that Nido King and Nido Queen didn't turn out to be like as cool as I thought they would. Specifically because I was like I put the effort in to get them to like level fifty, and I'm like, oh, you're just what you are. Which isn't bad, but it's just, you know. There are better Pokemon. 
Then again, this was Gen 1, so like half the abilities that Pokemon have now, like for example, the whole poison if being touched, yeah, that wasn't a thing yet. Um, you are not going to be a good choice. Uh, how about Ghastly? Because you're already poisoned. I don't want to, like, lose you up. <laughs> Hypnosis, bitch. That might be a problem. Yes! Um, yeah, no, I... What, was, what other Pokemon did I catch that I thought would be really cool, but I just want to suck it? Um... I wasn't too much of a fan of when I caught Magmar. The anime made me think it'd be really cool because of Blaine. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be such a sick fire Pokemon. It didn't turn out. And by the time I caught Magmar, like, there was nowhere in the game to go practice with him. And I think that was my biggest gripe, was like... Uh, Pokemon you can get later games oftentimes had the downside of not being as good as the ones you've already had for a while, even though they should have been better, because, you know, just should have. Your Nido King was cool. But not the best. Yes, Ma. What do you want? How much, what, did you buy me something again? Yeah, I thought you did. Cool. Thanks, Mom. Fishing Guru's house is like, is this like another fishing rod? Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by a rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's the story passed from my grandpa. It's great, great grandpa. Used to be that you could catch lively magic there, but I don't understand what's happening. Okay, let's go figure it out. I don't have surf though. That's gonna be a problem. Gyarados are angry, it's a bad omen. The lake was made by Rampaging Gyarados. Mention the mass outbreak now. Normally by now the pseudo would would be like, oh hey, I'm cured of the poison. Can you stop dying? There it is, I want it! See it? I want it! Gimme, 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 gimme! That's what I'm here for. What happens if I use an old rod here? Does it automatically give me a Gyarados because that's all it's in the lake? Because, like, the old rod generally only catches Magikarps. But because of the situation... Oh, damn. It's still Magikarp. Fuck. I was kind of hoping that, like, because of what's going on here, like, it would have been, been a Gyarados. Can Magikarp learn Surf? I don't think it can. Magic. Things I never thought I'd look up. Magic heart move set. No, oops. Move set. Chain four. I'm gonna laugh if it can learn surf. Nope. Nothing. It can, it can only learn Splash, Tackle, and Flail. Can't even learn, learn Surf. That is depressing. So, silver. Where are the locations for all the Pokemon? 
the Pokemon with fishing rods. The old rod we got, the good rod from the fisherman inside the north. And... God, fuck! <laughs> the fishing rod I want is the way we're supposed to go. Ah! But I want the fucking Gyarados now. <laughs> it's right there. It's so close. This is like a, this is like a um, a moral, immorality tale on like the uh, importance of uh, I don't know something or whatever. God damn it. What do you got for me, man? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I learn. Uh, let's see. Four series games. Position. Is it only capable of catching magic cards? Huh? <sighs> Wait. With the old rod, you can walk up to the water and start fishing. Pokemon I'm like the old rod and you know this rod. Apparently. Hold up. Hold on. Hold the phone. I think I just read some interesting development. Soul, silver, gold. I want that! Give me one of those! Well, give me the red one specifically. In the core series of games. Hey. Generation 5 includes a super rod. No, generation 1. Generation 2. No, 4. Not Gen 4. Generation part. Noting that they should press A to move the reload in. Generation 3. It takes too long. Okay, encounter 45, 74, respectively. Okay, heart, gold, soul, silver. The exclamation point will occasionally appear above the, walk the walking player instead of above the player sprite. Closer to the odds of getting a bite are impacted by the friendship of the player's walking Pokemon with a high friendship, resulting in a chance of the bite being greatly increased at a 99% or lower. The base is zero. Okay. Does it. Does it stay me? Son of a bitch. Okay. I was. Mm. So, okay, there's a chance. So, there is a chance I can catch something other than Magic Card. That's an HM move. How'd you. I'm sorry, I didn't know the random, the random trainer's new HM moves. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Place of interest, geography. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the wall. There we go. Come on. Damn. Damn, damn. Wait, hold on. Fuck, nope. 
give up Sucker Punch. Um, don't give up. Actually, I want to see really quick. I thought I would, but I'm like, hold on. Hold on. Let me see Lick really quick. Uh, 2100. Also, Paralyze. Enables the user to attack first. If it fails at the foe, is not readying an attack, however. Um, yeah, no, no, we, no, we can do other attacks. We got like Shadow Ball and all the other things. We don't, we don't need Sucker Punch. Because as we saw when we fought Morty, it wasn't that great of an attack. It's not bad, but it's not the best. You know what I mean? Also, unfortunately, Old Rod is going to only give us magic carps. Damn it. So we have to go to Olivine City to get the better Rod to come back to here. Get a non... I need the good rod. Okay, yeah. I need a good Rod. Yes, I'm going to catch a Gyarados to get the red Gyarados, but we're going to use the red Gyarados because the red Gyarados is cooler. Savvy? We'll all just get something with the Super Rod in Olivine City, come back, and get Gyarados, and ah, fuck me. I just realized what I did, okay. I'm not thinking clearly. Thunderwave? Oh shit, we got to go first? Oh. <laughs> and there it goes. That's about right. That's about right. Yeah, that's about right. Tracks. Okay, so... Ugh, head back. We're gonna head back to Olivine. Well, towards Ecruteague City. I don't know how long it's gonna take us. Sussman Black of Lake Rage. Yeah, 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 okay. Don't care. I thought maybe one of you would be, like, helpful. I think you that I could talk to? I don't know who... I don't remember Mahogany Town much at all. What are you? Who... Where's house that's on there? We're at the lake. My top Pokemon music. Okay, cool. Bye. I wasn't ready for the fucking, um, the, the Entei encounter. The, I was not ready. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, yep. Okay, let's go. Something just run the mountain right back. <laughs> damn it. It's fine. That's not fine. Because I got Flaffy here. Hey, Flaffy. Swippity, swippity, ree. Give me Deku. What level is the red Gyarados? Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Rock Smash in the game. Good job. Mm. 
yes, we will switch to Cassandra. Yeah. See how we can do with Cassandra against Doug Trio. Silver. Rick break. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's a good thing we didn't fight today anyway. Red Gyarados is 10 levels higher than most of my team. Red Gyarados is level 30? So, yeah, maybe it's a good idea that I didn't just go charging into that fight. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, we'll go th we're gonna go this way. So yeah, we'll definitely go work on training all of us up and um Yeah. Fuck. I was so excited thinking we can get a Gyarados today, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be sick. No. No, it was not. Hey, Mareep, we got a better form of you. But, like, I don't want to fight you. I love how the highlight of this episode really just became me unknowingly encountering an Entei. Speaking of. Are they, like, on the map again? Like, gear? Nope, they are constantly on the map at all times. That's That's interesting to know. Huh. Did not think that was going to be a thing. But that is good to know because what it means is that I can actually track them when I actually have the means to catch their level 40 cells. So in the future, if, they're, if I'm in an area where they are, I have to have a uh, hypnosis-based Pokemon ready to go first. That way I can go, like, hypnosis, attempt to catch. And it's going to be one of those cases where I need to just throw a really good fucking Pokeball. I get a feeling that my encounter of the end is going to be the fucking clip for the preview for next I mean, week this comes out. Like, I'll be going through, like, this episode when I edit it and be like, ah, yeah, that's going to be the episode. This, that right there, my reaction's going to be the, we're going to clip that. Swap Flaffy for being level 22. Cassandra, because Cassandra has more HP. It kind of sucks too, because like, I feel bad catching one po- actually no, I kind of did that already, didn't I? did that with Headbutt. So okay, I'm not going to feel as bad. But I caught two Pokemon to learn Head- I mean to learn Cut, so I'm not as like, really bad. I really swapped out <laughs> Bill Sprout so quickly once I got Heracross. So whatever water Pokemon I get is only going to be a temp until I can get Gyarados. Which I'm kind of okay with bad because like I don't know I think I'm just using it okay let's go hang on get us back to Ecritique so I can save and call it an episode I think I could have been in Olivine City and already had the Super Rod and just completely not been in the situation. But yeah, the next episode we'll be heading towards Olivine. And I will work on getting a surfing Pokemon. That'll be next week's goal. Up. On the plus side, though, like... 
at least we now, um, hmm. at least now I know one how, that I can get to Mount Mortar that way. And I can skip Mount Mortar and just go surfing on the way back. Like, that's an advantage, I guess. Try this again. Saving here again, just to make it a little awkward and weird for those who watch the episodes. <laughs> cool, if you enjoyed this episode, do the things down below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye <laughs>